Well, thanks for tuning back in. Today I'm going to take you on a two-tank night dive that I did in Kauai. This is going to be a shore dive, so we're going to walk down into that bay and swim out to that buoy. That's where the dive starts, and we're just waiting for sunset. This is the gear that I'm using. I have a new 15,000 lumen spotlight and two 2,000 lumen floodlights, and I'm using a Sony RX100. The floodlights do a great job for close-up work. Especially with two, they can eliminate the shadows and provide really uniform light. You can see how I'm mostly chasing fish right now. In the later part of the video where it's really dark outside, you can see those fish are much more calm. Again, these floodlights are so good at doing close up work. You can see that it's still pretty bright outside. You can still see the sun shining. As it gets darker outside, I feel like the fish are calming down a little bit. And that's the end of the first dive. And it's still pretty bright outside. Yeah. Is that the best for photography? Or... Seems like you just... Yeah. So whenever I get certified divers from California, I'm like... Off to you. Like, I don't have to worry about it. In between dives, I'm using this power supply to recharge the batteries in my dive lights. I'm using a USB-C battery to power that power supply. As you can see, it's getting pretty dark. The street lights are on, and we're just starting our second dive. Just to show you guys how bright the spotlight is that I'm using, you can see the divers down there with their 1,000 lumen lights. As I turn on my 15,000 lumen light, you almost can't tell if they're even holding a flashlight. It's that bright. In this scene, I have all three lights on, and I just turned off the two floodlights. So this is just the spotlight by itself. You can see the spotlight has a bit of a hot spot in the middle, but it does still offer a little bit of floodlight around the periphery. Here I'm using all three lights. The hot spot from the spotlight is just outside of the camera's view, but I'm still getting some of the peripheral light from it. This is kind of a three floodlight ring light, and I love how uniform the lighting is. are just so much more relaxed at night. 
I don't know if it's because they're just dazzled by the light on my camera, but I'm no longer chasing fish around. They're actually swimming up to me. The colors at night are so much better as well, especially if you have nice light. You're not fighting the blue ambient light everywhere. You're just providing your own pure white light. And that's what I like the most about night diving is the colors. can't get away from him. I think this is one of the cuter fishes in the ocean. He's swimming right up to me. Maybe he's trying to get warm from my LED lights? I've never had a fish swim up to me that close before. You can see some little plankton swimming around in the water. Approaching the end of the second dive, and it's pitch black outside right now, so we're going to turn off all of our lights. And there's some bioluminescent plankton that you can see if you wave your hands. The camera didn't catch it very well, but it's still pretty cool. 